reports I mean, talk sports and putting this out there I mean take that out face value whatever you want to do with it but then um, Man United is ready to move for Everton's Jordan Pickford regardless if David De Gea or leaves again I'll give him a lift Pickford and that's brilliant for Manchester United and Liverpool take him he's shite I am not a huge fan I'm not sure, no he's crap like but what, again, it's the modern goalkeeper. I think. That, I think. Are we, are we? Are we? Are we all in on Pickford's not a modern goalkeeper? By I, the way, I don't. Yeah, I, is this? I, I take a with that. He's not. He's not a modern goalkeeper. He whammies the ball dead <laughs> hard. But I'm not sure how great a passer he is. Um, we personally, do, well, what I would say is that he comes off his line and David Hay can't kick. No, he's better than Hay. Yeah, he's better, he's than better at that. Yeah. It feels like that one. That what I'm saying. What I was say, Dan, is that. They're maybe negating a bit of the shot stoppery stuff, although even you know David De Gea mm. wasn't exactly flawless at that last season as well. The West Ham goal was I mean, shock yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, great Pickford yeah. has got saves in him. Yeah, uh, he's very inc- again. He's another one who's got the clanger in him. But yeah, listen, I think he's. I think he's for me. Jay, if I'm going to be honest, like I know we we love to criticise Everton and anything to do with him here. Obviously, for me, I think at Pickford, if it's sort of in his vicinity sort of instinctively actually think he's very good at that sort of stuff when he's got to react quickly and it's right in, in his ballpark if you like obviously his main issue and again I'm not even doing this for a laugh like is if it's in the top corner because he isn't that big <laughs> like I'm not I'm not like that no, is you're just, not doing it for a laugh but like but you, still get a, you still get a laugh because like, how many times do you see when they conceded the goal that has gone in top bin somewhere you know, and it's just him sprawling yeah but his arms like one foot <laughs> but he, he's right though like he isn't that big for a goalkeeper it's he's a simple slightly. fact of life he's not a big bloke and that is a problem when you're a keeper I would rather my keeper Alisson's height I don't want him much bigger than that because then you get to the realms of ridiculousness, quite frankly, but six foot three, that sort of height. Hey, six four, and then on that one, Chloe, I was going to like, I the Raya to the Reese thing. I think that is a big upgrade. It just doesn't feel like a big upgrade. I, I, I it feels like you are. I don't know. You know, like on FIFA or sort of like you put one set. She of knows points, FIFA. You do, but like, <laughs> you know, like his one set of points goes up on the distribution, but the saves one goes down, yeah. and it's actually the same rate of goalkeeper. They're just different at different things. I think Ray is better at a lot of things than Luis. I'm surprised at this story. Is that there's talk that he might keep you know, the Hale might be off the new contract as well, which I find I can't get my head around. I think he's Man United's biggest problem actually. David the Hale. They've got issues elsewhere on the pitch. Don't get me wrong, and the, the squad isn't amazing. They need a striker badly but there's no surprise I don't think that my United aren't really challenging just yet when the two most important positions on the pitch they haven't got right the goalkeeper's bad and they haven't got a striker well well, you know what I mean fair play to Ten Hag we're getting them third with that with that as well by the way like, if they had one or the other they might be a bit more of a force I, I, I don't understand the logic of pick the hair go and pick for coming in it feels like like say if it, a sideways step just you know, just different issues you're losing a bit of shot stopping, you might be gaining a bit of something on the ball, but it's not enough really. For, for I don't think either of them are good enough to play for Man United. I don't know what your thoughts are. No, everyone, I mean, it's Sophie TV, ATOS, but I don't really pick for as much as, as everyone else. He's he's made to look brilliant because of how many shots is actually on, on goal. A lot of them should be saveable. He does make things look spectacular and some saves are ridiculously can I just, good. Can I cut across you there? He's fucking weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's weird. He like when he saves things and he's just he starts moving like fucking D'Lo Brown. Do you remember the Newcastle away? away? Yeah, he's when just, they were 2-0 up and he was getting the bigger on the way um, off and he drew two two. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's just he's just he's just weird. Like he, he every he's, he just shouts at everyone all the time. Like I don't know, I'd I'd hate to be fucking. There's something like, there. Like, I don't know, like I don't know what you're yeah. he's just a weird bloke as well. Yeah, I mean his main Attribute is booting a ball out of play 40 yards down the other end of the pitch. <laughs> I'm not sure that's what Man United need, but I'm all for it if that's what they go for because it makes them worse. I think the problem with Pickford is going into a team in which you're facing less shots who mm. are a lot better, you're now going to be criticised even more because your focus has got to be there. It might be the fact that you're facing less uh, shots coming your way but that one time someone breaks mm. you've you've got to save it you've got to be good enough to the point where Alisson where Liverpool can dominate a game 
but saves two massive chances throughout that entire game and saves the points for you. I'm not sure Pickford does that. I think he can lose concentration. I think he thinks he's absolutely insane. I think he loves himself far too much and maybe you do need that as a goalkeeper because of the criticism you face and also the fact that you it's a very lonely position when things go wrong for you. But he also makes some horrific mistakes as well. Um, and if, if he goes to Manchester United, I will be all for that yeah he's i think he's a good goalkeeper actually i think you know cards on the table no messing around i think he is a good goalkeeper he's not a great goalkeeper he's a good goalkeeper he's a good goalkeeper yeah, yeah. i think that's where i sort of fall yeah. down on it and if you want someone who plays out from the back you've got your wrong man it, what it says to me actually is that the scouting at manchester united is poor because if this is the best that you can come up with when you've been probably planning for... Ten Hag's probably been planning for this for a year. And the best you've sort of drummed up is Pickford, really. Like, there's no there's no goalkeeper in another lead that you think, I can nurture him and I can play into it. You know, there's no other one in the Premier League that you think, we could do better here. I tell you what, if, I'd, if, if you'd asked me about Pope... And Pickford, I'd much rather have Newcastle's goalkeeper, yeah. to be honest with you. He, he has moments of madness. Do you remember Everton at home? And it, I don't know where he's got off to. I think Darwin Nunes has put a ball in. Yeah, and he's gone off the left-hand side, outside the box. And Mo Salah's just stood here from post and taps it in. He's got moments of absolute madness in him, does Jordan Pickford. And that is something that you need to stop because you need to, first of all, the goalkeeper gives confidence to the defence. If you've got a goalkeeper who makes mistakes like that or just runs out of positions, is never correct in, in where he needs to be, then it's not going to fill the rest of the team with confidence. It's also, like I mentioned, it's big moments that he's, if he goes to Manchester United, every save is on a different level of magnitude than it was for, for Everton. It just is. You're at a different standard now. And if he's... And look, he's, he's really good at shot-stopping. But when he has time to think about it, he, he just loses his mind a Is little bit. Is it a bit. wager thing, maybe, Dan? Because, like, David A's on big, though. Huge. You might, and yeah. you might take a sideways step, but you might knock it underground a week off, off your wage bill. Maybe it's that. Because, by the way, Dean Henderson's still knocking about. Mm. And there's talk that he might he might make the move to Nottingham Forest to yeah. pay him. Like. Yeah. Which is strange as well, because he didn't play, he did he, back Navas? in the season? He, he got injured. Then, Navas. I know, but they went with Navas. He's not being Kaylor yeah. Navas for yeah. me, though. But he, Navas will leave, won't he? You, 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 would, you think so? I, I mean, I don't know. But like, he stayed up, didn't he? So. Who knows where we're at. But yeah, it's a strange one, though, with yeah. Pickford. Yeah, I agree. And like you all said, for me, it's very much a sideways step. Navas was only on loan, though, wasn't he, from, at Forest? So maybe maybe well, they can go and get him. I'd, I'd argue... I'd, I'd argue Pickford is actually slightly a downward step from David De Gea, ever so slightly. It I, 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 I agree to an extent, but I guess if I, I get so frustrated that goalies who don't come off the box, mm. I, people. This is going back. I've had this conversation on a few shows in the past. But like everyone used to tell me how good Shea Given was all the time. He's one of the best goalies in the world. He's brilliant. He's like. He never was a six-yard box. No, like it, it, it's a. That's, he played in teams though. That's that so you could do that. but it's so detrimental to your team. Of mm. course, you make loads of saves when you're in your goal all the time. Yeah. But the reason you face, the reason Man United face so many shots is because David De Gea isn't doing the sweeper keeper yeah. stuff really. But there's been loads of times this season where Jordan Pickford has done the keeper sweeper thing, and in fact, I can remember one at Goodison. He comes out, he sweeps the ball, he kicks it about five yards to the yeah. striker, and the striker puts it past oh, the post. Jamie Vardy. Was it Jamie, Jamie Vardy? Vardy? Yeah, yeah. And it's like, he does yeah. that. Like, it, he agree. just, he literally gets a rush of blood to the head, and he's like, "Whoa!" And your point, Chloe. Doing? Your point, Chloe, about him not facing as much, not being as busy. Yeah. He'll get inside his own head for eighty minutes, he'll, and he'll then if he calls upon, then there'll be a problem. Him. I'm so God. certain. The, the one thing I will say, just just about David de Gea, is his. I don't think he concedes more goals for not coming out of his line because I think his reactions are so Super, good yeah. that he actually makes just as many saves. They just look more hairy than when Alisson comes out and clears yeah, the ball. He's the best in the world to save him with his feet, yeah, by the way. He is, he is, absolutely. So is. I, I agree with that. I think, it's a, I think it's a downgrade yeah. on the hay maybe, even now. Maybe it's a case of like you're just trying to get someone who can do... A bit like when Liverpool binned off Mignolet for carriers. Yeah. You just want someone who plays the way you play. That's the point. If that's where they're at, is that, is that Pickford? He boots a ball, that's all I know. I think is, it, is it Pickford? If you want Pickford involved in playing passes to your centre-back, is that the goalkeeper that you pick? No. Well, David Ryan might be that man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's David what I'm saying. Is that, he's a definite, and he's, again, we've said before, he's above De Gea in the Spanish pecking order, so obviously yeah. it's him. Get, get Keith Keller in. Um, Pickford to Spurs and Raya to United would be a more sensible would make way sense. of going about it. Definitely for United. Yeah. Yeah, it would make sense. Um, yeah. I want to move to... Not so much Tottenham. No, but where they're at, 
they could get away with getting Pickford over. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. 